Good afternoon. It's Paul oh, on this fresh day. Heater's on. Right. In case you don't know, oh, you probably do know him from Rate My Beer. Uh, the main man, the connoisseur. Nah, actually, sounds good, doesn't it? Anyway, doing something a little bit different here. When I was on the ship a few weeks ago, I don't know if you saw the unboxing. Brought a load of different things back from Rotterdam. Um, doing the local thing. This is called Tulia. Tulia from Brow Wurgy with a little bird. Comes in a 330ml bottle. It's called Elgin Bison. Obviously, it's a wheat beer. Um, I don't know if you can see on the camera. Look at the sediment. Of the... No, you can't see. Can you? No. That's a massive, mad bit of sediment at the bottom of it. Um, obviously, I don't have the glass, so I'm going to go along with that because that's a 330 glass. This is a 330 can, I'm sure, a bottle, I'm sure. I mean, they do have a website, but it's all in Dutch, obviously. Um, I've never tried, to my knowledge, unless anyone can correct me, barring um, Hertong Yang, the Wizen. Which is class, I keep trying to get that on a perfect draft, but they seem to, it goes in one ear out the other with them. But then there's probably 10, 20,000 people asking for something on the perfect draft. But you never know. We've got Hertong Yang Bok, which I didn't think we'd get, which I actually really liked, which I didn't think I'd like. But there you go. Anyway, let's get this poured and see what we get. This was between three and four euros because it was brought in a little bottle shop. Obviously, I just got the bill together. But I just remember they were three four euros each some bigger bottles some little ones some well he said they were limited but i think he would have said anything to me i was doing his head in by that point i'll just get her out pour it a bit slower because that's a little bit lively for some reason blimey yeah that is lively yeah okay It will settle out in a way. And the reason it looks a bit brighter is because there's a red light. It's like the red light district down there because of the heater. I'll tell you what. It's got the exclusive five-finger head. Um, it doesn't It doesn't appear to look that hazy, if I'm honest. Um, as I said, it comes in at 5.2%. You really need to give this bottle a little go to get more of the... Um, bottom bit of it out which don't help when that's not settling because you could have the best bit I never understand why people drink I mean obviously it's unfiltered unpasteurized whatever way you want to go on it um, I never understand why people want to drink uh, the um, crystal Weizen beers to me you take the sediment out you're taking out the best bit I know we've all got our own opinion and I respect that um, but I would never ever you know, I've got a crystal still sat in the fridge. I once brought a case of Frankie Crystal from Germany and I tasted it and I thought, oh no, there's just something missing. Luckily, I had someone to drink them for me. A little bit of help. Um, had I not, I would have had an issue, shall we say. Right, that's settling about as much as it is. Good carbonation, I don't know if you can see, but it has got more haze than it did before. But it could probably do with the bottom gun in it and it's now like quite a thick head I'm not getting that much off it a bit of fruit a bit of spice I couldn't tell you what one and when my cold's a bit not great but it's not got it's, if I'm honest here it's not got that much going on in the aroma you know um, but as I say my first one from Rotterdam I do have some more to do which I will do Blimey. Oh, um, that's different. It's got quite a lot of, right, that's what I say what it's not. It's not creamy. It does not have that banana taste. It's more citrusy, but then it's got a sweetness. I can't quite fathom out what that is. Um, hold on. She's getting better at the end. I thought she might. Oh shit, I poured too much now. I 
And it leaves a proper bitter aftertaste. Um, um, it's quite smooth. On the mouthfeel. On that, but it's more... It's more citrusy, lemony, zesty. Than it is banana. Is there a hint of banana in there? There probably is. But, um... Very different. Very, very different. Um, 5.2% is probably hidden quite well. Um, I'll say to this one, just get a shot of it for later. Um, all right, okay. Um, it is different it's, it's probably not for me I will drink it because I do um, well I try to most of the time um, I could like I say It's definitely more lemony. Not bad though, because I like lemon and citrus, but not quite what I was expecting. Um, where do I go on this? I certainly wouldn't go out my way to drink it again. But I'm just on the fence. As you can see, it has got that vice and effect now. That's where the main bit I got out of the bottom, but it's not great. It's not bad. I'm going to rate my beer six. Six out of ten. Um, as I said, I've had better. I've had worse. You ain't going to go out your way to drink that again. Right, what can I say? Thanks for watching. If you've had any of Rotterdam's finest, do let me know. Bonjour.